Super Mario Bros. 2 has done more for me than any video game ever has in my entire life. Now when I say that, most of you would probably think, well, Super Mario Bros. 2 is probably like the first video game you've ever played because it means so much to you. No, that's actually not true. The first game I ever played ever was a game called Snail Maze on the Sega Master System. Snail Maze was a game that was actually built into a lot of versions of the Sega Master System. When you would turn on the console without a cartridge actually in it, a game would start up. And if you were lucky like I was, you got a game called Snail Maze. What a fun game. My next memory is the same as many people, Super Mario Brothers. Funny enough, I liked the game, but I was not in love with it. It seemed a little weird at the time because everybody I knew was talking about Super Mario Bros, but for me, I was playing games more like Mega Man, Fist of the North Star, Blaster Master, Legacy of the Wizard, Bad Dudes, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, and River City Ransom. It's crazy to think about it, the Nintendo had so many game changers for me. A lot of these video games that I played kind of changed the way I looked at video games forever. Of all the games mentioned, each kind of did something big for me. Let's say Legacy of the Wizard. That really got me to pay attention to music in video games and feel like video game music wasn't just cool, but beautiful. Blaster Master kind of opened me up to explore more in a platforming style video game. You would think it was Metroid, but no. Blaster Master. And games like Bad Dudes, Chippendales Rescue Rangers, and River City Ransom, well, they made me fall in love with same time co op. But one game, one game changed everything for me in video games. That's Super Mario Bros. 2. I know I've talked about this game on multiple occasions on the show, but more in a sense of like, here's what the game is, but I don't want to really get into that right now. I just want to speak as to what it did for me personally. Super Mario Bros. 2 made me a gamer. Plain and simply. It's Super Mario 2, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with I know I spoke about many games a minute ago, but this is the game that made me think about video games. Made me want to play while at school. Made me wonder what the next world would look like, and really? Well, it made me care about returning to my NES each and every day. I remember exactly what it felt like playing Super Mario Bros. 2. It felt like, well, for me personally, exactly what I wanted it to feel like when I was controlling certain characters in a video game. And besides that, I got to control Mario amongst other characters that I loved. I mean, really for me, it was like, are you kidding me? I get to choose to play as that dude at the end of the castle levels, and I also get to play as Princess Peach. I just remember every time the character select screen came on, I was so excited because I was like, really? I actually get to choose between these characters? Yeah, I've played other video games where I get to choose between even four characters, but these are four characters that I actually really care about. I also think the difficulty of the game was just perfect for me. I was not into beating games that felt impossibly hard, but I did like some challenge, and this game brought it. It probably took me something close to like a week to beat the game, and I remember being super proud of that when I did. And if we want to talk about beating the game, this is something I want to dive into because for me personally, this was huge for me. I know it's a mixed bag for some others, but not at all for me. The music that started playing alongside the amazing art that looked like a living, breathing cartoon was absolutely mind-blowing for me. I think that was the first time I beat a game where I just felt really accomplished. Previously, I had beat other video games, but for some reason, this one struck me. The game being all a dream was a new concept for me.
My little mind kept wondering how could this be? How could this all have been just a dream? Or, or, or maybe it wasn't a dream. Or what if the dream was a dream? Or what if I was dreaming and I didn't even beat the game yet and I'm still asleep and I don't even realize it? I absolutely loved this moment during my life in gaming because I remember my fantasies in my brain of what was actually happening was so much bigger than what the game actually presented. But again, for me personally, it was a very unique experience. I also feel as if Super Mario Bros. 2 sent me through multiple emotions in a video game and that was a wonderful new thing for me to experience and go through. The game would feel so diverse in the levels. The first level feeling so colorful and happy, areas where Fanto would send chills down my spine, sand levels with such a great soundtrack to make me feel like I was actually hot and tired, snow levels that brought a vibe of true snow chill and fun, and a ton of different bosses that seemed just so epic to me at the time, and they still do. What I truly adore about all these memories and all these different experiences I had is well that they're mine, they're unique to me. And for you, it might be something completely different. You might not even like this game at all. You might not have any great experiences, but you might have the same one for a different video game, one that I might like, or your friend might like, or your buddy might love, or your buddy might hate, or vice versa. All of these experiences are made up of what make you, or me specifically, a gamer. Again, as I am getting older, I have honestly realized that yes, Super Mario Bros. 2 really truly is the video game that has made me a gamer. Proud to be a gamer. Again, I have so many experiences from my past playing video games, but this is the defining experience that has made video games more of a lifelong passion than I ever could have imagined. Thank you Nintendo for creating this game. No matter how it came to be, thank you for allowing me a place to let my mind wander to new heights while experiencing a video game console. I believe that Super Mario Bros. 2 has stapled Nintendo as the gaming company that will always hold the most space in my heart. Thanks for watching.